So this is a scan that I did. Um, I'll orbit it so you can see. So it's got some, it's got a Z value to it. Uh, and I want to just go and I want to process where it may be the countertop or maybe the floor plan. And so I want to just take everything and flatten it down. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of isolate what I want to flatten. So let's just, let's do the countertop. And I always take this and I copy it and I copy it over a certain increment. So we'll say 200. Probably let's go, let's go another hundred just because I turned a bunch of stuff off and then I can turn everything back on so I can see, okay. So then this is the data that I wanna flatten. Now, if I was using the full version of CAD, which I actually am, I can say flatten. And if, and it, and if it's working properly, it'll say remove hidden lines. The answer is no, it's gonna flatten everything in Z. Um, if you do not have the flatten command, it's because the OEM version of CAD does not have express tools. And that technically is an express tool, which is a testing tool. It's like something that AutoCAD is like playing with. So it's not, it's not part of the OEM version. So the best way to flatten from there is to grab everything. And if you have a properties, uh, like, um, tool palette open, you can just hover over the properties and it'll show you everything that you see for geometry. Or if you don't have the properties tool palette open, you can just type in M O and then hit enter and it'll open up the properties dialog box. So there's two different ways to do it. And then from here I can look at my geometry and right here, start in Z, it says varies, end in Z, varies. Well, we want that to be zero. So I'm just gonna go to where it is, hit zero enter for the start and hit zero enter for the Z end. And now everything has been flattened. If I were to join this together, instead of being a 3D polyline, all we see is a polyline, which is what we want. So.